We're on our way to pick Isaac up from school today. We just got a notification from Hannah's building that there was a threat in Isaac's buildings right next to her. So we want to pick him up and make sure he's safe with us. We kept Hannah home today. Welcome home, Isaac. Hello. That was a short day today, wasn't it? It was. You didn't even get on the bus, did you? <laughs> yeah. I didn't. We took her down to the bus stop and found out what was going on and brought her right back home. This boy is already on the bus, so he had to wait around on the bus. And then as soon as the school was cleared, Mama went and picked him up. Yep, I was on the bus for about an hour just sitting there waiting. So thankfully everyone is okay. Now we're just going to take the day and enjoy ourselves together. We've got to go get Austin from school here in a little bit anyway. And then we'll just hang out today. Maybe yep. play some Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just picked up Austin. Why aren't they in school? There was a bomb threat at our school today, so they decided to pick us up early. Bomb threat? So what happened was this morning when I got on the bus and we went to school, the buses turned around and even left the property, went down the street and parked. So we were thinking, what? Why'd we leave? And we started asking questions and we found out that there was actually a bomb threat at Hannah's school. We saw like six police cars go by and a fire truck. So I started texting mom and dad and they said, just stay there and they'll come pick me up when they can. And it, it was pretty chaotic, but in the end, after about an hour, the all clear was given and we were able to go back to the school. We have had a rather interesting day today, but now we're all home. Getting ready to eat some dinner. Hannah, what are you yep. making? Are you helping mama out? Yeah, I'm making guacamole. What you got going on over here? Pasta con queso. One of Hannah's favorites. It In is. fact, she requested this tonight, didn't she? Yes, she's been requesting it every night for like the last two weeks. Looks like a mess over here. I know. My cheese boiled over a little bit, so don't look at that. Queso sauce. We got the penne noodles and some corn and beans. Here's a chicken for it, and I gotta put a few other seasonings in it and that goes in the oven. It's okay. yummy. If they find people that called and threatened the school, then do they get arrested? Yes, and the police will find out. They'll yeah. do an investigation to find out who it is who made that threat. And even if it's a kid, they'll be in trouble. Yeah. Not only by the police, but by mom and dad as well. Which is yeah. probably the worst one. So we take this kind of stuff very, very seriously. We don't mess around. There are serious repercussions and you will get in a lot of trouble, right? Mm -hmm. We understand there were a lot of kids who went home today yeah. and didn't stay for school. Yeah. Well, that all set aside, let's enjoy ourselves this evening and have some nice dinner. Some messy cheese right there, I see. I gotta cover up my messy cheese. We're going to enjoy our pasta con queso, watch a movie, and just have some good family fun tonight. And this is Friday, so we have the weekend ahead of us. We don't have to worry about going to school tomorrow. We take a couple days off as a breather to relax and then go back on Monday. Yeah, it's like a three-day weekend. Before we sign off, I just want to show you guys what this looks like when it's all done because it's really good. Like I said, it's one of our favorites. She puts like these Fritos on top. Chicken, beans, it's like a Mexican dish. If any of you guys want the recipe, I'm sure if you leave a comment and uh, let us know, she'll put that up. It tastes really good. You guys would really enjoy it. It's a good like Friday night kind of food where you watch a movie and just relax, which is what we're doing tonight. I gotta get up there and join them. See you guys later. Have a good night. Bye-bye.